committee is meeting today to hear testimony on the U.S. Park Police attack on peaceful protesters. Peaceful protesters. Peaceful protest. I think we've got a uh, video. So I wonder if we could play that. Overwhelmingly peaceful protesters, peaceful protesters, peaceful protesters, peaceful protesters, peaceful protesters. We were peaceful and we wanted no trouble. Very peaceful. Police started throwing tear gas and flashbangs, fast grenades at us for no reason. It had been peaceful. Peaceful protesters, peaceful protesters, peaceful protests, peaceful unarmed protests. And being a part of a peaceful protest, nonviolent protest. As a woman of God, to stand up for the right of peaceful protesters. Peaceful protesters. Peaceful protesters. Peaceful protests and peaceful protesters. Peaceful protesters. Peaceful. Peaceful protesters. It was largely peaceful. Peaceful protesters. Innocent protesters. I think uh, we need to make a distinction between the right to peaceable assembly, which is sacred and protected under our First Amendment, and violence, arson, and vandalism, which is not so protected. Beginning on Saturday, May 30th, 2020, the U.S. Park Police were under a state of siege and routinely subject to attack by violent crowds. The incidents are numerous and include U.S. uh, Park Police officers having their police cars vandalized, being subject to bombardment by lighted flares, Molotov cocktails, rocks, bricks, bottles, and other projectiles, and physical assaults so violent that to date over 50 area law enforcement of officers have been uh, injured, to include one U.S. Park police officer so violently attacked that he required emergency surgery. To describe what happened in Washington, D.C. as mostly peaceful protests, I think is a lot like uh, describing Scott Peterson as a mostly faithful husband or Al Capone as a mostly law-abiding businessman.